guys, my name is Jess. We're gonna go a little bit more in depth for those who weren't able to follow along. Uh, uh, at, um, and I was going really fast in the previous video. So anyways, when it comes to the NAWs, okay? When it comes to work speed in general, you really wanna slot in as high work speed as possible. And there are gonna be two types, one that are dark and one that are not dark. For the non-dark pals, you need to slot in nocturnal so that they work during the nighttime. This ensures that they have ma as high work speed as possible, which means that they will be hitting the stones at a faster rate, right? Trees, faster rate. When it comes to dark pals, they don't need nocturnal because they, they they don't sleep. They naturally don't sleep. Um, so we put on laws instead. Lucky, artisan, work slave, and serious. Okay, one fifteen percent more work speed, and that's pretty damn impressive. Now, um, some things to note is that these can easily be replaced if you can obtain a lucky, or if you don't have an an cake uh, cake to breed. Just slot in workaholic or die leveler because they are sanity reducers or at a uh, lower rate so to speak um and they're for ranch pals specifically now that you don't have to this won't this won't capitalize on whatever drops that they can do okay um when it comes to the gob fins or rather support pals you want to slot in vanguard and stronghold strategist for the stat boosts and then noble and fine first for the money boost okay so Vanguard, uh, sorry, Godfins naturally give you 10% attack power on the player, okay? That's why you slot in 5 of them at the same time with fully ascending them. So, now you get 150% more attack power, right? More attack on your, uh, own player attack. Now, when it comes to transport powers, similar to the work speed, you need Nocturnal for those that do not, or those that do sleep at night. They are normal pals, or pals that are not dark, so to speak, okay? So you go LSR, which is Legend, Runner, and Swift, plus Nocturnal. Right, you see here? These guys are wide awake, and they don't sleep. When it comes to the Dark Powers, you, they don't need Nocturnal passive. So just put on a Movement Speed passive, because you want them to get from point A to point B ASAP. You want them to transfer your stuff ASAP. You see here, they are Nocturnal because they are Dark, that little purple tag. They either have Nocturnal from a passive, or because they are naturally Dark. Okay, when it comes to mounts, ideally you want to go infinite stamina plus the LSR, so it's Legend Swift Runner, just like the previous uh, clip, uh, except of Nocturnal you put on stamina, but if you don't want to rely on insane amounts of stamina, you can just go nimble, flat base movement speed. Um, pretty much that's it for the mounts though, You there's not really any other ideal passives to go because it's all about movement speed. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky. So we're gonna memorize this. LSR, or rather L-S-I-M-F-E. Those are the terms, okay? So specifically, you can put on any of these passives on any pal, but it only applies, it ideally applies directly to how you decide to play. So, for instance, these are Element Serenities. I am going to make this Anubis a, an Earth Element Pal who specializes in CDR low ability cooldowns. When it comes to breeding, I put on Serenity and Patient because this is ideal for the majority of pals nowadays because more CDR means more abilities, right? Now, this is a 4 passive. We got Element plus Legend plus SI, which is Serenity and Patient, okay? S I S M S F, right? So this is a four passive. Same thing. Element Legend S M Musclehead gives you a flat thirty percent bonus on attack on that pal. This is an Element Legend S M, right? L S M plus Legend, or sorry, plus Musclehead. So this is raw damage plus C D R plus Legend, which is overall stats, and then Element. Now don't copy these passives onto a Cryolynx because he is innately ice. And I put a uh, fire on there, but only because of the fact that I use him for crossbreeding. Okay. Um, when it comes to other pals, though, if they have low cooldown abilities like the hit, Dogen's Whole Hearted Stance ability, which is really freaking cool, it's on a 30 second cooldown. Apply Serenity, and it's on like a, I don't know, 15, 16 second cooldown. Right? It's insane how potent Serenity is. Okay. Here we have the element plus LSI, and you got it. It's Legend, Serenity, and Patient. And this is because he has the ability Focus Shot. I like him sniping out foes left and right. 
This dog has Legend, Serenity, Impatient, and Eternal Flame. You see the pattern here? We go Element, LSI. Element, LSM. Right? This one's also for crossbreeding. Do not copy this on because he is in elite ground, okay? Um, he won't be dealing as much damage. In other words, so right here, same thing, Element, LSI. Right, 40 45% CDR. Now, when it comes to double elements, you can put on as many, ele and, uh, as many elements as you want on a pal. Here, I have double element. I have the water one, and I have the fire. Well, fire and lightning, because of eternal flame. And then I have legend, serenity, right? Overall stats, plus CDR, plus the double elements that apply directly to the pal, right? And it's a lot of damage. And he is technically a hybrid pal. Right, not hybrid uh, fusion elements, but hybrid as in applying damage elements. Right. Um, this is an old one. This is also an old one. I have Ice Emperor plus Legend and Burly Body. Burly Body is a tanky stat, which I don't really use anymore. Um, now that you have an increase on pals, depending on the world's world settings, you're gonna have 50 versus 20 um, out in your base. So here is a raw damage clip. Right. You go Legend plus SFM, which is Serenity, Musclehead, and Ferocious. You have a flat 80% bonus attack damage, or attack power rather. Alright, same thing here. Legend, Ferocious, Serenity, Musclehead. This is all attack. Everything is attack. Although you can replace Serenity with Hooligan, I don't recommend it because it's only 10%. So this is for breeding purposes. Triads will help you add certain um, passives onto another pal, and it's easier this way. You go 3 plus 1, where you go 2 by 2, where you go 1 plus 3, right? And it's ideal to have at least some pals with the specific passives that you can easily use for crossbreeding. Because it's very difficult to obtain a naked pal with no passives. Right here we have LS, Legend and Serenity, and this is the naked pal. It's easier to obtain them when they're low level because it's just easier. This is the power of breeding naked ones, where right? you have four passives to no passives, and then they both combine, and then we get a pa baby with four passives. This is also for potential breeding purposes. You see I have double element plus serenity, and then I would put that onto a pal with only legend, right? Or I would add this onto a pal with a specific element, right? And right here we're just going to be recapping some uh, elements and whatnot on the combat because combat's very difficult to understand when it comes to the passives, right? But the ideal things that you want to do for your combat is to have legend and an element, okay? The rest is up to you, okay? Legend and, legend and the elements, if it's multi-element. And I do have a pal that has triple elements right here, triple elements. Sir Siren of the Void, Earth Emperor, and Eternal Flame. He has five damage applications or uh, damage uh, boosts rather when it comes to certain elements and this is key for when there's pals out there who have low cooldown abilities right here is my prickster doing an ags spec at a pal he runs across the freaking map faster than i can fly on a jet rig let's be honest and this is the ryu right he can spam his weird ability it's like i forgot what it's called i can't see it but it's it's so much fun um but yeah and when it comes to raid pals, oh, excuse me, you can't get legend on them when you breed, but you should probably already know that if you're that far into the game. Um, but yeah, it's imperative to get legend. You can get legend from the legendary pals all in the corners of the map. Um, very challenging, very challenging. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace!